some help? No, I, I'm doing fine, thank you. Yeah, look, uh, why don't you let me give you a hand? Well, uh, I don't know, I... Never talk to strangers, huh? Especially biker strangers. Well, I'm Vince Black. Carol Atkins. So now we're not strangers. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't shown up. You would have done just fine. Walt, he's my husband. He'll go bananas when I tell him. Taking this shortcut from school. Oh, my goodness. Um, I've really got to get moving. Would you please let me give you something for your trouble? Glad I could help. Nice to meet you, Carol Atkins. You too, Vince Black. He was a cop and good at his job, but he committed the ultimate sin and testified against other cops gone bad. Cops that tried to kill him, but got the woman he loved instead. Framed for murder, now he prowls the Badlands, an outlaw hunting outlaws, a bounty hunter, a renegade.
Righteous info, Bobby. Righteous info. I thought you said you had a location on this guy. You didn't say anything about a hunch. Hold it, Shike. Guess what? It's Reno. He's uh, kind of upset about this Gus Reinhardt thing. He's steamed, very steamed. Listen, why don't we do this? Why don't you just come on back and we'll regroup? How's that, huh? Where are you? We had some time off. What can I say? We're out on the links, sir. And I'm already down 100 bucks to this gal. Good. Good. Losing money is good. That's blasphemy. Here's what we're going to do. You come back, we'll regroup. Huh? Have I ever stood you wrong? Don't worry. I don't worry, Bobby. That's your department. I'll be back in a week. Don't wait up. available? Number four. I think you're gonna like number four. It's kind of one of the nicest ones of the bunch. Of course, the uh, wife and me, we try to make them all nice. I myself have always felt that number four is kind of special. Do you have a uh, police department in this town, Sheriff? Sure do. Chet Durham. Why? Just like to know I'm well protected. Oh, Chet, he's the best. Thank you. to make you an upstanding citizen. Would you arrest me because you don't like what I do for a living? I arrested you, Mr. Vincent Black, if that is your real name, for two reasons. One, you're the only person within 50 miles of here I didn't grow up with. And two, I understand you're very interested how law enforcement works in this town. Thought I'd show you firsthand. Did that include telling me what the charges are? Suspicion of murder. Take it easy, Sheriff. I'm not resisting, am I? Shut up. I get a phone call? Eventually. Mind telling me who I killed? One of the finest women I've ever known. Turn to your right. Why'd I kill her? Robbery, maybe? What'd I take? This woman ride a Harley? Because that's about all I'm holding. Could have unloaded it by now. She was murdered Tuesday night. Finally got through to the state police. They're gonna fax us the goods on this creep ASAP. I'm looking forward to hearing their side of your story, Black. Beautiful. I kill this woman, fence these mysterious goods, then check into a motel right down the street. Not exactly the perfect crime, is it? Shut up. Within 48 hours, I'll know everything there is to know about you. Until then, hell, I could arrest you just for the way you dress. Something I can do for you? Friend, you're cooked. 
They got you dead bang on this. All we got to do is wait for the hangman to erect his scaffold. I don't intend to stick around, friend. How many homicides a year does the sheriff handle? None. People around here don't kill each other. From what I can tell, you don't know squat about handling a homicide investigation. So far, all you've done is lock me up, get coffee and donuts, and drop that anchor of yours in the chair. This woman I supposedly killed, where was the body? Hmm? Find it inside or outside? I ain't discussing this case with you, so why don't you sit down and shut up? That's a mistake right there. I might incriminate myself, drop some vital piece of information. Okay, she was inside, but that ain't gonna help you one way or the other. Body found outside, usually there because it was moved, dumped. Body found inside is there because it was probably killed in the same room where you found it, giving you a fresh crime scene with lots of good places to start your investigation. What'd the crime scene look like? Bloody. There was writing on the doors. She'd been dead for a couple of days. Was it writing in blood? You know damn well it was. What kind of writing? A number, 36. Generally speaking, when you have writing, symbols, numbers, stuff like that, you're dealing with a psychotic ritual. <laughs> really? Psychotic ritual? Oh, I love it. Like a head case, huh? Oh, boy, there's a big howdy. A lot of ritual behavior is connected to serial crimes. Call the FBI. Don't take my word for it. What else? Was it an organized or disorganized crime scene? What the hell does that mean? FBI computer says the median age of a serial killer is 25 years old. If the killer cleaned up after himself, you add a few years because it's an organized crime scene. If the crime scene was a mess, you subtract a few. How do you know all this? I used to be a cop. Worked a major crimes unit in California. We caught a couple of these squeals in the two years that I worked there. I guess it'd be organized. Except for that writing on the doors. Well, I'm figuring Carol doesn't know who the killer was. Had to break in, force the window open in the living room. There's no way she'd let a long-haired biker like you in her door. Who found the body? Neighbor, Glenn Fine. OK. Glenn Fine goes into the house, finds a body that's been cooking there for 18 hours. You think maybe it's a little ripe in there? And he opens up the living room window to air it out? No. No, I don't. Why don't you call him? Ask him yourself. Worth a dime to me. Glenn, Chet. Listen, uh, when you went into Carol's house, you didn't open up that front room window or nothing, did you? You did. Yeah, no, no, I understand it. Smelled pretty bad in there, huh? OK. Uh, yeah, well, I just wish you would have said something about it. It was important. So she knew her assailant. Now, why don't you admit you're just hassling me because my hair's too long and let me out of here? Not until your prints come back and I know who you really are. But maybe we can take a ride out there and you can take a look at that crime scene. giving you the benefit of the doubt on this because I can use what you know. Don't you go forgetting you're still a suspect. How can I forget? Do you have a coroner's report yet? Lakeside doesn't have a coroner. We had to bring one in from Ridley. Results should be in sometime today. Wait till Walter's about this.
Motive, that's what's hard to find. I'm killing for reasons only I know. Psychological reasons. Very deep. This means something. But only to me. From my past, maybe when I was a kid. Only I know. And I ain't talking. All I know is that it excites me. Makes me crazy. Drives me to rape. Kill. Whatever. This husband? Walt, yeah. He's over at his sister's house. She was into photography, huh? Yeah, taking classes over in Ridley. Community college. What was Walt's alibi? He was out of town on business. Besides, Walt Atkins had nothing to do with this. I've known the man for years. We played football together, damn it. Not good enough. According to statistics, Murder begins at home. Walt tells me he was gone. I believe him. This body was moved. Carried. From place to place. Why? Hey, you're still my prisoner, damn it. She's nice. She smells good. All the things I need have come together. What in the screaming hell are you doing, huh? Trying to see it, feel it. Yeah, well, you can do that without play acting that you're the killer. I mean, you've made your point. I am the killer, Sheriff. That's how you work them, from the killer's point of view. It ain't fun, but sometimes it works. Six volt battery, odd size. Are you hooked up to Vicap, Sheriff? Uh, no. It's a computer link up of police departments, FBI, the works. It helps them get the hits on movement of criminals, especially serial killers. I get my partner down here. He can link us up to Vicap. Then we can see if any of the evidence we have fits a pattern of any other murders around the country. What do you say? Make the call. Hold it, Walt. This is my house. Get out of my way, Ed. Don't waste any time getting here, Bobby. OK, right, sure. I'll stay cool for as long as I can. Jack, where the hell are you? Walt, Walt, hold on a sec. Wait a minute. <laughs> Calm down, Walt. That's enough. Get out of my way. I'm going to kill him. He killed Carol, and I'm going to kill him. Take it easy, Walt. I mean it. Now, you try something like this again, and I'll lock you up, damn it. You bring my wife's murder into our own home, and now you threaten to lock me up? Get him out of here, or I'm going to tear both your heads off. Walt, that's enough! I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Now, Mr. Black is a former police detective, and I believe he's going to be able to help us catch Carol's killer. You must be out of your mind, Chet, pulling something like this. I mean, crazy, insane. That biker's conned you, damn it. He killed Carol, he's conned you, and now he's laughing at all of us. We'll talk about it later, Walt. Oh, you bet we will. Howdy, boys. We want to question your prisoner. 
our way. You there, Josh. Do you seriously think you're gonna take my prisoner? Just do your job, Chet, or we'll do it for you. You got 48 hours. Then we come and get your big city policeman biker bastard and string him up. There's nothing medicinal around here. So just forget about it. Oh. Oh. You gonna be okay, Jerry? I think so. Uh, how about you? Fine, man. Just fine. Hey, hello. Uh, hello, Dr. Morgan. I've been waiting for your call. Uh-huh. Well, you're right. I'm not looking forward to seeing her again like that. Okay. All right. One hour. Okay, I'll be there. Did you call about Black's fingerprints? They said they sent the whole package. How? By Pony Express? The woman I talked to said they faxed it yesterday. Must have disappeared between here and there. It's crazy machines, who knows? Are we going to get another copy? Yeah, said she tried to get it to us this morning. Give us some time to go see the body. You're not running this investigation yet, Black. That's true, but since we only have 24 hours left before your neighbors come by to string me up, I suggest we get a move on. Nobody is going to string up anybody as long as I'm sheriff in this town. What about you, Ed? You'll be guarding that door when the lynch mob comes? Ignore him, Ed. But he said lynch mob. Sheriff Chet Durham, I presume? Robert Six Killer, president and CEO of Six Killer Enterprises International. My card. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Mm -hmm. Kind of ginger. Despite his appearance in mode of transportation, Mr. Vincent Black is one of my best employees. He is also above suspicion when it comes to first-degree murder. I'll vouch for that. I'll also put it in writing if necessary. Well, we'll see how above suspicion he is when the reports come back on his prints. Yes, well, I am trying to be very patient with you, Sheriff. Vincent is, uh... Bobby, it's okay. I mean, if I was a sheriff, I'd be doing exactly the same thing. What happened? It's a long story. Bobby, Reinhardt is being less than cooperative. So, uh, that courtesy of Gus Reinhardt? Yes. Mm-hmm. Real tough hombre, this guy, Sheriff. Uh, would you like to come out and see what a real felon looks like? Sure. How the hell did you get him in here? Stun gun. <whistles> Practically beamed him aboard. I'm gonna kill you all! Oh, really? Bobby, the place is worth more than the bounty on this crazy. Can we please get him out of here? Why don't we make a deal? Good idea. Sheriff, you lock up this mountain of donut oil, and we'll get you in that crime system I was telling you about by cab. You got papers on him? Oh, absolutely. Right here and all perfectly legal, sir. I like it. Let old Jerry out of there. He's dried up by now. It's a very nice room. Go on, Hoss. 
Here, uncuff him. Fly cap is logging us in. This is what they call hacking, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Illegal, right? Relax, Sheriff. Don't be so small town. You're gonna love this. Why don't you give me the ammo, Vince? The victim is 36 years old. Said there was also a 36 on the wall. There might be something to that. Uh, victim was moved three to four times in the same place. Oh, and uh, Bobby. <clears throat> See if you can find out what this battery is used for. Got it. What about the wound? What's well, a single stab wound? Point of entry in the chest, slicing downward through the sternum. It's a large blade. It could be a hunting knife. I'm sure you've already checked for anything here. There's no epidermal material and there's no blood. She didn't fight back. Any signs of sex? No. No, there's no evidence of that. In fact, I'm kind of surprised. Why is that? Well, given what she was wearing at the time. Lingerie. Sexy lingerie. Are we done here, doctor? Yeah. I've never debriefed an autopsy with a suspect before, Mr. Black. Well, I'm sort of a transient suspect, for now, anyway. I thought it would kill Walt. Besides, I figured I could come up with a satisfactory explanation. Satisfied who? The district attorney or yourself? I don't know. This damn case is driving me crazy. It just doesn't add up. No one can get inside anyone else's head, Chad. People live secret lives. Not Carol Atkins. She, Carol, was an open book. Beautiful book. Senior year, we were inseparable. Watch you marry Walt. What can I say? I got drafted, he had a bad knee and stayed home. Come on, let's go see what Cheyenne turned up. I should have told you about the lingerie. That is what they used to call a vigilante committee, Sheriff, just like in the old days. They're all basically good people. I've seen what basically good people can do when they turn into a mob. Yeah, and I don't like it. Vicap found four more. All 36-year-old women, all knife wounds. And apparently, all of the bodies were moved around the crime scene. None of these victims wore lingerie. Anything on that battery? Specially made for a speed winder on a 35-millimeter camera. OK, let's pull this all together. Photography's the key. Agreed? Agreed. She'd been in class, and later on, she goes home. She puts on a teddy, trying to look sexy. The killer is someone she knows. He was taking her picture. Huh? Moving around in different poses? A camera freak. Unless she was taking the pictures herself. No, I bagged her camera for evidence. There's no speedwinder on it. Making any headway on my wife's murder check? You too busy sucking up to outsiders. Well, Walt, you know this is wrong. Now, why don't you do everybody a favor and just go on home? It's wrong, is that miserable? How long were he and Carol married? Fifteen years. Good a marriage as many, better than most. Except Walt was away a lot. And no children? No. I think I know what happened. It's not that difficult to see, really. As a woman. What are you talking about, Shy? Put the spice back into your marriage tomorrow on Oprah. Get sexy, have your photograph taken, surprise him on his birthday, and watch the bored man turn into the hot little boy you married. She asked the killer to take a picture. Sheriff, could you uh, come in here for a minute, please? Something wrong with the prisoner. He won't eat. Whoa, 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 listen now. 
Could be our backs getting in the deeper hot water, if you know what I mean. Why don't we take a timeout and split? Bobby, I... This isn't gonna feel as nice as that stun gun, Gus, baby, so I suggest you get your butt back in that cage. Now! Get in there! Maybe we should get over to that JC, check on some student teacher list. You know, from the victim's photography class, what do you guys say? Good idea, let's take a ride, Mr. Black. She was in the Tuesday Night Life Forms class. That's all the names, numbers, and addresses. What does that mean, Life Forms? They have a display out by the trophy case of the pictures they took. Some might call it art, but it's just nudes to me. I, I know just about every one of these names. A couple I don't recognize could be one of them. Who teaches the class, ma'am? It's there on the top. Terrence Mavens, visiting teacher, kind of a one-time deal. He gives a five-week course, then he moves on and gives people in the next town permission to take more dirty pictures of naked people. How's that for a scam? Well, he's up there corrupting Chesterton now. Thank you very much, Milton. Well, here it is. The last three victims before Carol Atkins were students at local community colleges, but not the first. What was the first victim's name? Marge Sawyer. She was killed 10 years ago. Can you punch up her history? Already on its way. First husband's name, Mavens. They had one son, Terrence. He was convicted of her murder when he was 17, second degree. How old was she? 36. Her son spent the next 10 years in a mental rehab facility, released three years ago. It's classic. He kills her and keeps killing her, satisfying his need by reenacting the murder. I gotta call the Chesterson police. Wait a minute, hold it, Sheriff. You call on the local cavalry to swoop down on this guy, and he's gone in a second. You okay, Black? Yeah. You're too young, of course. But I think there's a way that we can flush this guy out. Problem. Good. All right, gentlemen, let's go get this guy. Hi guys. You miserable little worm. I'll be damned. Wanna take a look inside? Lots of neat things in this vehicle. Okay, Shy. I want you to bring in with that black car right down there, okay? Okay. I don't have to tell you to be careful, right? No, you don't. You okay about this? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. See you in a flash. Go get him.
Hey, Bobby, why don't you snake around? The sheriff and I will go this way. Okay. Excuse me, aren't you Professor Mavens? It's not Professor. What can I do for you, Miss... Uh, Marilyn. Marilyn. Marilyn James. Up in light someday, my own one-woman show. And you can help me, Mr. Mavens. Well, I'd like to help you, Marilyn. What exactly could I do for you? Registration forms. I've been filling them out till I'm numb. And, well, then I find out your class is full, and you're the only one who can permit an extra student. And I was hoping... Says who you're 36. You, uh, certainly don't look 36. Thanks. That's why this is so important to me. If I don't make my move now, I'll never do it. Is there, uh, something you can show me? Some work you've done, maybe? Yes, of course. In my car, in the parking lot. Have a look. Hands where I can see a Mavens or I'll blow you away. Back off, man. Back off or I'll break your neck. I mean it. Give it up, son. There's no way out. I don't uh, give a damn. Uh, uh, uh. You okay, son? Yes, sir. You killed the wrong lady, mister. You're gonna be lucky You're if you can find a job taking out the garbage in this town. You wanted Carol's killer? Well, you got it. That's the guy right there, the average-looking guy, the short-haired, normal-looking guy. Could be any one of you boys. No, Walt, no. You've done enough already. Let's go. I don't understand. Carol died to get your attention, Walt. That's the plain and simple truth. Shy? Real circus back there. Reporters from all over the state. TV, cameras, photographers, the whole deal. Carol would have loved it. This is where I first met her. Help fix her tire. Funeral's tomorrow. You sure you can't stay? I've been to too many funerals lately. So how does it feel to be a celebrity? <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> All those reporters want to know is who's Vince Black. Not that they'll hear anything from me, but you got to admit it's a hell of a story. I never let a major felon walk out of my jail before. I liked Vince Black. I figured maybe it was time I got to know Reno Reigns. Why did you let me walk? Aside from the fact that I never could have solved Carol's murder on my own, I saw something in your face. 
Same thing I was seeing in my mirror, pain and anger. I felt you really wanted to get the guy that did this. And if that was true, then you weren't guilty. I read in here that your fiance was killed. Well, I may not know much about serial killers and computers. You can buy a computer, Chet. But you can't buy a feeling for what goes on inside people's heads. And I gotta tell you, it's been an honor working with you. Take care. Say. What am I gonna tell all those reporters about this Vince Black fella? Heck, tell them the truth. He was the wrong man in the right place. At least this time. <laughs>